Welcome to the daily insights that matter. Now in today's DITM we explore the reasons behind JP Morgan's optimism with the Indian economy. We also talk about US's third quarter GDP which has grown at the fastest pace in over two years. Now JP Morgan has joined other prominent global brokerages in a significant move by upgrading India to an overweight rating. Now as for why JP Morgan made this upgrade, there are several factors at play. First, it's tied to the positive seasonality linked to the general elections in India. Second, India is experiencing robust growth in its nominal GDP growth. Now this growth not only reflects the country's economic resilience, but also its potential for future expansion. Lastly, the development of a more extensive bond market in India is contributing to the upgrade. Now a larger and a more mature bond market is expected to reduce risk premiums, making investments in India less risky and more attractive. Now all these factors combined have led JP Morgan to give India an overweight rating, signaling its confidence in India's investment potential. Now what's even more noteworthy is that JP Morgan is not alone in its positive assessment of the Indian markets. Other global rating agencies and brokerage firms have also upgraded their outlook on India. CLSE, for instance, has upgraded India to overweight and increased its allocation in the India portfolio. Similarly, Nomura, which is another global brokerage firm, has upgraded India from neutral to overweight. Morgan Stanley also has expressed confidence in the Indian market by upgrading it to a standout overweight status, considering it their most preferred emerging market as of now. Now, India has emerged as a star performer with global brokerages and rating agencies acknowledging its potential and the factors contributing to its positive outlook. Now, this collective optimism from prominent institutions does reflect a positive outlook on India's economic prospects and investment potential as well. Now, the latest update on US's GDP shows that the US economy grew at the fastest pace in nearly two years on the back of strong consumer spending amidst the ongoing inflation pressures with global headwinds. Now the US GDP for the third quarter of 2023 came in at an impressive 4.9 percentage which is more than double from the previous quarter's reading of 2.1 percent on the back of several factors. Economists polled by Reuters had forecasted GDP rising at a 4.3 percent rate. Now when we look at the breakup, the highlight was on personal consumption or consumer spending which rose by 4 percent from the earlier reading of 0.8% in spite of higher interest rates and high inflation. Now, consumer spending, which accounts for more than two thirds of the US economic activity, was the main driver. Apart from this, increased exports, residential investment, and government spending were the other drivers for the impressive growth in the third quarter. Imports, which are a subtraction in the calculation of GDP, also did increase. Now, at a time when many economists had thought that the US was in the midst of a recession, the growth has kept pace and has risen by an impressive 4.9% in this quarter. Moreover, amidst the high interest rates and ongoing high inflation, the rise in consumer spending indicates a strong labor market and a positive trend in the economy, giving the Fed the hopes to provide a soft landing for the economy. However, it will be interesting to see what will be the outcome of the forthcoming FOMC meeting which will be held in the following week as they had kept the interest rates unchanged at 5.5% previously with inflation lingering above the tolerance band of 2%. With that, this is Raj Mehta signing off, wishing you and your loved ones the very best. Thank you. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app, Informed Investor, to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Equity investments are subject to market risk. Read all investment-related documents carefully. Visit www.researchandranking.com.